everybody. Today we're going to be looking at another snake, but this one is the biggest one we've ever featured on the channel. Let's take a closer look. So this right here is a banded water snake. Now we actually had a really hard time identifying this from the dangerous cottonmouth. So today I'm going to tell you how to identify this water snake from a cottonmouth. So the first major difference from a water snake and a cottonmouth is that cottonmouths have short stubby tails whereas water snake's tails just get thinner as they go. Another difference is the shape of the head. Cottonmouths have a big wide head because it has those two massive venom glands. However, these water snakes can flatten their heads and puff them up to look like a cottonmouth. So that's probably not the best way to identify it. Now, this is probably something you're not going to see because you'll have to get very close to see it. But cottonmouths are pit vipers, meaning that they have pits right in front of their eyes so they can sense heat from animals or prey. Now these snakes do not have any pits. Now another difference from the cottonmouth and a water snake is that water snakes have round pupils. Well, cottonmouths have a vertical line looking pupil. Kind of like, it's like a, it's a line. It's a vertical line. Now, water snakes are nocturnal and diurnal, meaning they're active on both times of the day. Well, water moccasins are diurnal. So you'll normally find these snakes sitting near a small stream because that's where they get most of their diet, which consists of small fish, salamanders, crayfish, tadpoles, frogs, and toads. To escape a, pre to escape a predator, they can actually dive into the water and then swim. They will normally stay underwater for around five minutes before the predator goes away but they can actually stay underwater for around an hour. However, if they stay for underwater for too long, they will get scale rot, which of course will make their scales rot away. Now you can see that he is shedding because like all these scales are kind of like flaking off right there on the front of him. So he is shedding his skin. Now a predator for the snake would, um, be like a hawk or a, another large bird. Um, snapping turtles will eat the snake. Uh, other large snakes will eat this snake. Um, their habitat range is around so, uh, South Carolina, uh, Western Texas, um, southern Mississippi and lots of other places too. Now um, we do think that this is a banded water snake however it could be a brown water snake. We're more of a I'm more of an insect expert not really a snake expert so if any snake experts out there know what this is comment down below. And everyone who wants me to get a chop, first off, these don't bite very often. Second off, these can break skin and I could get an infection, which can sometimes be very dangerous. Well, I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so let's go release it. All right, right back on this rock where we found it. Remember guys, it's always a good idea to release an animal right where you found it. <laughs> 